Hello. Huskies back again with more Los Angeles Kings franchise mode commentary in NHL 18. Uh, last video, we had a very successful regular season. Um, somehow managing a perfect in overtime. Not entirely sure how we managed that. Like I, said, I don't think I've seen that before ever. Um, one downside of the season was scoring was down across the board, it seemed. I mean, then you've got Edmonton with 252, but that's because Connor McDavid. But, I mean, I thought we scored not so much, 2.41. But, I mean, looking at the rest of the division, um, it's not awful. We're a little bit behind Anaheim, but we're ahead of Vancouver. But our goals against is really where we shine, 2.06. I mean, Vancouver, again, being the defensive stalwart they are, ended up that way. So, we had 10 overtime wins. Or, 10 shootout wins. So, we were perfect in the shootout. Is, it, is there an overtime record? No. Sadly, that there's not. But I think that's regulation plus overtime win. Yeah, so we had t we were we were ten and zero in the shootout. That's pretty impressive. All right, so Vancouver, forty six wins, third hundred and two points. So the, the Pacific yet again with the Atlantic are the two best divisions. The Metro and the Central are way. I guess the Central's got two pretty good teams, but the quality of talent you go throughout the division is definitely better in the Pacific and the Metro, or in the Atlantic, sorry. So Vancouver, 102 points. Uh, they don't score a whole lot of goals, 2.34. I mean, we don't score a whole lot of goals either. They don't give up a whole lot, 2.02. Quite possibly the best defense in the game. Uh, both of our power plays suck. <laughs> Their penalty kill is significantly higher than ours, but ours isn't bad. It's just theirs isn't that good. They're not great on the road, though. They're really good at home. But they struggle on the road. That'll be good for us. And I was suggested some lines that I forgot to set. So we'll go set those now. The comments have been pretty pretty on point with the line suggestions so far. So I'm going to keep keep turning to the comments when it comes to line suggestions. Let's see where we got it. So the first line stays the same. Besser, Zadina, Pasta. Second line, Gogol, Larkin, Eberly. Interesting. Hosting bots to the third, Johansson to the fourth with Erickson and Cutler, Point and Roberts. All right, I, I like those lines. You've got scoring on every line. You've got playmaking on every line. There's not second line might lack a little bit of defense, but I feel like Larkin should make up for it. And the fourth line, Johansson can uh, maybe spark these two down here. And defense, we're gonna leave it the same. This is pretty much what we've been rocking the entirety of the last like six seasons. Riley Swanson, Kopitz, Cameron, Kosti, Mikhailski. And then Annette making his postseason debut as an LA King, Ralph Shen. Chen. Oh, he played one game and he made two saves. All right, so this is his first real postseason experience ever. Oh, excuse me. But we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna hop in. No, oh, we're not gonna hop in just yet. We had to go look and see what uh what Vancouver will bring, and we need to stay out of the penalty box. Our our Third pairing defenseman Cam, or no, second pairing defenseman Cameron, refuses to stay out of the penalty box, and it's a little frustrating. But, but what is that? You have what? Anaheim, what are you doing? Kajula and Kass with Walt. No, okay, the, Anaheim's not the team to look at. It's we want Vancouver. All right, so Vancouver, Nikolai Godolbin, Elias Patterson. Hopefully, he gets better than that for me. Andre Svechnikov. Hopefully, he gets to that for me as well. I have both of those players in my custom GM mode if you're not following along. Sven Berchi, Bo Horvat, Sam Reinhardt, <clears throat> and then a bunch of bottom six guys. It's actually not a bad third line. Um, I would probably put Simmons on the third line instead of Eaton, but that's just me. Uh, that first line's pretty good. Shvechnikov is probably a pretty solid goal scorer. I'd assume 30 goals. Oh no, he's more of a playmaker. 23 goals, 35 points, or 35 assists. Pedersen really doesn't put up a huge amount of points because he's a two-way forward. And Godolbin had 14. So, again, this team is going to struggle to score. Berchi had 15. Horvat. 20. Horvat's a pretty good player. He doesn't really shine, but Reinhardt had 20 goals. So, that top six will be formidable. But they don't give up a lot of goals. And their defense is why. Ulevi, Galvin, Merkley, Baines, Onibuchi, and Sherov. And they've actually gotten worse. They lost... One of their top four D-men. And had to replace him with, I'm assuming, Baines or Onibuchi. Uh, and Annette Thatcher Demko. Of course. 
91 overall Thatcher Demko. He's been he's poises 80. He's probably had lots of playoff experience by now. Ah, they haven't gotten out of the first round, so three overtime losses. Oh jeez. Well, I mean we're good in overtime. Let's see if we can uh keep the regular season success going. Hop in to take on the Vancouver Canucks yet again. We played them last year in round one, I believe. But here we go. Let's see what we can do. Oh, we're on the board earlier. Joshua Ho saying, I like it. one nothing. All right. Gogo gets on the board, but Giordano answers. Braden Point on the board. Galvin answers. All right, so 3-2. to two. You can go goal for goal with us as long as we have a lead. I'm okay with that. Just make sure we have a lead first. Just got to finish strong. We're not giving up. Oh, bar play. Good kill. I'm not too concerned because... Again, nice. Big win. Um, oh, so we played, yeah, we played Vancouver, Edmonton, and somebody else last year. I don't remember who the, who the conference finals were. Either way, good win, good win. I'm sure Vancouver is like, we're turning into the new Blackhawks for the Vancouver Canucks. They have this awesome 100 point season, and then they run into us in the postseason again. Like, come on. Oh, 0 0 after 1. Alright, this is more of what I expected. Zero goals, defensive battle. Oh, Eaton. The guy that I should I said should have been on Oh Godolbin from the Oh you oh boy. Unfortunately, this is gonna be the case where if they get a one or two goal lead, uh it's gonna be tough. We're not gonna be able to put two or three on the board in quick succession against this team. Especially not at home. Oh no, see on the road they should have sucked, but they actually played two pretty good games and took one on our ice so now we're gonna struggle because they are a very good home team I mean we'll see if that you know means anything sometimes it has sometimes it hasn't but come on we gotta get a lead here no that's not a lead that's Patterson one nothing Vancouver all right Cutler Zadina thank you Zadina finally the first line we need the first line to come to life oh Giordano our first line had a rough year. They went from a point per game line across the board to not even hitting 60 points. No trading power plays, nothing. Out shooting them considerably, 34 21. We're going to go to overtime. Overtime might be where we excel. Can we get the job done in overtime? That's the question. I mean, the shots are just ridiculous. Hey, and we get it. Philip Zadina from the point. Let's go. Overtime continues to be a strong point of this team. I wonder if Poison has anything to do with that. It should, ideally. Alright. Come on, more of the same. Come on, get us a lead. Oh, Giordano and Shreknikov. 2 nothing. Vancouver after 1. Not great. Not great. Alright, Shrektikov gets the third one. Johansson gets one back, but it's 3 1 going into the third. That's not fantastic. Power play? Power play? 5 on 3? Ah, oh, come on. It's, oh, Giordano. This Giordano dude's killing us, man. He's got goals in every game in the series. And Shrektikov again gets the hat trick with two seconds left. Or a minute and two. Five to one. Man. Alright, so we kind of phoned it in once we hit the third period there. Alright, so two to two in the series. Well, we got to figure out a way to get on the board first here. Come on. Anybody. Nobody. Alright, well. Shit. Alright, there we go. Hosang. Horvath answers, but Larkin on the board. Two to one after two. That's what I want to see. Oh, power play Vancouver. Vancouver's showing a lot of offensive poise, and there's Eaton, that guy that I insulted saying he should be a fourth liner, scoring again. Let's go to overtime. Just go to overtime. I have more confidence. Oh, or Mikhailski, that's fine too. <laughs> hey, Besser scoring against his former team. Let's go. Four to two. There we go. There's there's some there's an offensive spark that we might need going into game six. 
we go. Four to two. Three to two in the series in favor of the LA Kings. Can we get it done? Game six. I'm sure Edmonton's waiting for us again. All right, come on. Get the job done here, boys. There we go. That's how you come out in an elimination game. 12 to 2 in shots. 3 0. Besser, Pasternak, Larkin. The big names coming out firing. Oh, good old man. Chipping away at it. Still 3 to 1 going into the third. I'm very confident in this. Come on. 10 minutes left. Shots have kind of cooled down. We're not literally as down. But Pasternak, again. First line coming to life. Had a rough regular season, but their postseason's good. Oh, Pedersen gets one on the board. Vancouver's not dead yet. But that's game. That's series. Vancouver put up a good fight. Had me worried there for a minute. But we survived the Canucks yet again with a 4-2 series lead. I think we swept them last year, so they're definitely... Oh, the Anaheim Ducks? What? We're not playing Edmonton? What is this nonsense? Edmonton got knocked out by the Ducks? Not by the Ducks. Who did Edmonton lose to? They lost to the, oh, okay, they lost to the Jets. They got a tough draw. That, uh... Really, they got Winnipeg? I thought Winnipeg was second. Oh, no, Edmonton was a wild card team. So, oh, shit. I thought Edmonton won the division. Shit. And I won the division. With, with that roster that we looked at briefly? What? Uh, whatever. <laughs> As always, uh, comments, predictions, whatever and anything in the comment section below. As always, thank you for watching, and I will see you on Wednesday for what is round number two against the Anaheim Ducks. A new foe has entered the fray.